Dave, was that the bounce back performance that you were really hoping for here at the Vic? It's good to win. That's the, the first thing. We knew it was an important game for us. Um, we want to win every game and we've lost a couple. So, um, In terms of, we, we just needed a result, a result tonight. Um, if I'm being honest, I don't think it's our best performance. I think it was, it was tougher conditions, don't get me wrong, it was, it was a difficult night. The pitch has taken a lot of rain in the last sort of 24, 48 hours and over the past week. So it was slippy, um, uh, probably prone to mistakes um, at times, but I thought we, look, we looked organised, um, we looked solid, I thought we defended a lot better, caught a couple of slips. Um, and I want to admit that we should all ruthless streak at the other end and put the ball in the net. So, Tonight was about winning, and that's going to be the start of um, the start of a little run we can hopefully put together. There's so many things we can take from tonight, but I suppose the one thing that we do have to focus on is you said after the last game you're going to bring in a goal scorer, and a goal scorer you did bring in Luke Armstrong, two goals on his debut. Yeah, he's put the pressure right on himself, hasn't he? Um, listen, sometimes it's not. It, it is a rocket science. Um, he scored two goals from a total of probably five yards. Um, we put good balls in the box, and if you get yourself in the six-yard box, listen, goal scorers, you may say, are, are lucky. They just have a habit, and it's a really, really good habit of being in the right place at the right time. Um, and he's, you know, he's done that tonight. But aside from that, he's got his, he's got his goals, which is great. But he's led the line really, really well. Um, and like I say, has set the, the marker post for, for, for himself. Um, to hopefully go and go and get us go and get us some more and um, and really get himself back to uh, back to enjoying his football. He's, he's back at home. He's in an environment that he likes. He's close to his family. Um, so there's, like I said, there's loads of positives, and if we can benefit from that, which I'm, I'm pretty sure we will, then um, everyone wins. And right alongside next to him, making his first league debut, first league start, was Joe Green thought he was energetic and impressive what you expect from Joe Green. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I say, it's, it's a difficult one with Joe, he's, he's still a baby. Um, he's a 17-year-old, he's a 17-year-old and with a 17-year-old body. Um, so this league naturally is is, is pretty pretty physical. Um, so we've got to be careful in terms of the games we, we put him into. Like I say, I knew that he wouldn't last the game. He, he cramped up in the in the Ulster Cup game and no different here on a heavy pitch because he, he empties the tank. Um, He's got a really, really bright future. Like I say, from, from my perspective, although we've we've thrown him in today, he, he, he's he's a bonus. He's not something or someone that I'm expecting loads off this season. Anything we get out of him will be um, will be a big, massive, massive plus. But moving forward, he, like I say, he has a, a big a big opportunity um, and needs to learn and, and and enjoy the time he spends on the pitch. You're, you're almost. Um, Disappointed for him in the fact that he makes his full debut at the Vic in front of no people, um, which again is something that will be unique to to him as a as a footballer, probably quite unique to a lot of young lads in the in the current current climate, um, because this is a, an atmosphere that, especially for for him, he will absolutely thrive in it and, and, and relish. And I'm sure our supporters, when they're back in, back in here, will absolutely take to take to him because. He epitomises what they are really. Um, so it was really, really positive. Um, great result for us. And we'll take that into the weekend. Now. You said you were going to make plenty of changes, and you certainly did that. And every man on the pitch really put in a performance, especially them lads like Kieran Shelton or the singer. Does that make your choices a little bit harder, or is that almost, it's a choice that you want to have, really, isn't it? it it's listen. It's, it, it's a tough one because um, you, you look at things, and I've said this to the players. Our performances haven't been massively, massively different. As, and I'll, I'll, I'm not just saying that for the, for the sake of it. We've been, we've done enough to win games of football, but we haven't won games of football, and we needed to change that that cycle, if you like, of lost a couple, won one draw, one lost a couple. Um, we need, we need to put a run together, um, and there's been people waiting for opportunities. Um, it's important that everyone who's in the squad. Really is on the brink of the squad. They're, they're not on the. They're not many, or if any, that are on the periphery and miles out of the picture. They're all on the brink of it. So players know that if if they don't perform, they are under pressure. It's important for us that we're not knee jerk in terms of the reactions we make. So we have a not great performance. That's it. 
change all change ten or we we, we, we play okay and, but we lose change another six. It, we've got to be we've got to be careful with what we do. We can't have players being in a situation where they're going out there and, and, and there is that sort of fear of failure. But on the flip side of it, we've got to um, we've got to keep the lads who are on the on the brink of the squad recognising that there are opportunities and the opportunities will come for them and it's about taking them. So listen it was a, it was a decision that we made pretty quickly after um, after <coughs> Saturday if I'm honest in terms of making changes. Um, how many changes it was debated backwards and, and forwards but lads have come in and have, have done a good job as I expected they, they would. And just finally is the message going into the weekend's game same again lads three points? Yeah, we, listen, we want this to be the start of a start of a run. Um, we showed at the start of the season that winning consecutively has a huge impact. And regardless of again, the league table doesn't make any sense at the moment because some <coughs> some teams have played thirteen, some have played fourteen, some have played nine. So it's all over the place. But players, regardless, will look where they sit, um, and we want to be as high up as we as we can, and we want to get as many points as we can as quickly as we can because. The back end of the season, anything could anything could happen. Um, today's a, a good start for us, a good start here, and, and we've got to we've got to build on that. Like I say, away from home, we've 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 picked up picked up results. We've we found it we found it difficult here. Um, hopefully, obviously, we, we go away at the weekend. A tough place to go, but the place that uh, we go there in in sort of no fear that we can't go there and win. But we know it's going to be a tough game, as all the games are. Um, and like I say. Fingers crossed this could be a start of consecutive wins rather than losing games. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.